Bob, it's a new edition that brings things up to date, and that's always important to do. And so we've really brought things to um, the current thinking about personality disorders, and we try to cover the whole range from etiology, what's known in neurobiology, but also in terms of treatment and diagnostic assessment. Uh, so it's pretty current, and uh, the original one really needed updating. Sure, this was actually the model proposed by the work group on personality and personality disorders for DSM-5 and a uh, lot of controversy, a lot of debate about it. It was our effort to move it to a dimensional kind of model. because It's in section three and it's called the alternative model. One thing I like about that is that it is an alternative model. In fact, it's legitimate. One can make a diagnosis using that system, use the same codes as you would if you're using section two, uh, but it enables you to learn a, a kind of hybrid model that includes a trait-based dimensional approach uh, to diagnosis. We've fewer specific categories of diagnoses, but a new one called personality disorder trait specified, where you can in fact portray your trait profile of pathology for any patient. Uh, if you really feel the main problem is personality disorders, and it's based on functioning. So it's a global definition of disorder as, as um, moderate or greater impairment in self and interpersonal functioning. And that's sort of unpacked into a sense of identity and self-direction and in terms of a capacity for empathy and a capacity for intimate, mature relationships.